3 Early Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bruce DePriest. Well, it is certainly a beautiful summer-like day, and uh, I think the sky was really the feature of weather item today. Check out this beautiful photo that Jim Meehan took, <clears throat> excuse me, in uh, Canaan, where you can see the puffy uh, fair weather clouds mixed with a nice deep blue sky. Feeling like summer today, although the season officially begins tomorrow, uh, June 20th at 544 in the afternoon. That is when the summer solstice will occur. So it's going to be a good weekend of barbecue. Get out there in the uh, lawn chair, perhaps, and also enjoy some uh, sunshine at the beach. But protect yourself because the sun is at its strongest point right now. Sunrise tomorrow is at 515 and the sun will set at 830. So high temperatures today range from 73 in Grant to 87 degrees in Windsor Locks. Just about everybody made it up into the 80s today. And there's a beautiful scene in Hartford where the current temperature is 86 degrees a mostly sunny sky now and also a beautiful scene in uh, New Haven where we have a decent amount of sunshine it looks like New Haven and some coastal communities will see areas of dense fog form later tonight but for now it's nice early warning pinpoint Doppler is scanning the state dry and current temperatures range from 70 in Groton to 87 in Windsor Locks it's 80 in Danbury and 81 in Willimantic also in Waterbury New Haven and Bridgeport 81 seems to be a pretty popular temperature right now and dew point temperatures are mostly in the 60s but Windsor locks the air is dried out just for a little while where the dew point is 57 but high humidity will continue to come in on a southerly breeze that's happening now and will continue to uh, pump in that high humidity and uh, some heat as we go through the first weekend of the summer season and also Father's Day. So we have showers and storms to our west with an upper level disturbance low pressure off the southeast coast that will move to the northeast and uh, miss us going out to sea as we go into uh, next week. So future cast shows perhaps an isolated shower or two at seven o'clock this evening. Otherwise, it's going to be a quiet night with areas of low clouds and fog forming. And then tomorrow is going to be partly sunny and hot. Now there will be some isolated to widely scattered showers and thunderstorms in northern and western Connecticut during the afternoon. That's the best chance for a shower. Uh, much of uh, Connecticut, though, will stay dry, especially to the south and east of Hartford. As we go into uh, Saturday evening, everything will dissipate in terms of showers, areas of fog and low clouds to start out your day Sunday, and then we'll have a couple of more pop-up showers and Perhaps a few thunderstorms as well Sunday afternoon. But again, much of the weekend is going to be fine. I wouldn't change any outdoor plans based on the uh, chance for some rain. All right, lows tonight will be in the 60s, mid to upper 60s. Danbury 66, around 67 in Enfield and your highs for tomorrow. You know what? I'm going for 90 in Hartford and Enfield. It's going to be very close. Most locations will be in the mid to upper 80s. And of course, some relief at the beaches with temperatures in the 70s and low 80s. Here's your seven day forecast. Sunday, Father's Day, a high of 87 and humid. And then Monday, I think we got a shot at 90 and 93 on Tuesday. That might even be a little bit conservative. I think we'll be somewhere in the range of 90 to 95. And if we hit Wednesday, 90 on Wednesday, that will make an official heat wave the very first of 2020. We're going to drop temperatures down a little bit Thursday and Friday, but not by very much for the shoreline. Highs in the low 80s for the next seven days and humid for the next seven days, too. What a weekend. Mm -hmm. Those beaches are going to be closed by 7 a.m. tomorrow, Bruce. <laughs> Just a warning, everybody. It's going to be crowded. <laughs>